Most of us begin our study with what is known as the direct current, which is nothing but the electricity flowing in a constant direction or possessing a voltage with constant polarity, either negative or positive. DC is the kind of electricity made by a battery by which current passes from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. But direct current is not the only type of current we can come across. There are sources of electricity which produces voltages and currents which are alternating in nature. That is, it could cyclically change directions. You already have learned about the generation of electricity by a generator, either as a voltage switching polarity or as a current switching directions back and forth. This kind of electricity is called as the alternating current or the AC. Let's try plotting an alternating current just like the way we did for DC. The main part of the definition of AC is the change in polarity of the voltage over time. So if I have a voltage with a variation as you can see on the screen, will it be an AC? My answer will be no, because it's not crossing the x-axis. This is only a varying DC. There are a lot of variation possible for an AC and accordingly so many shapes. A triangular wave like the one you see here or a square wave like this. Note the fact that they are changing their polarity cyclically with time. But among these alternating currents, the sinusoidal AC is the most important one as far as we are concerned. The reason being that in India is the sinusoidal AC which we get in our homes through the electricity distribution systems. Now, if I have a current carrying conductor like this and I'm passing a sinusoidal AC through this, how do I visualize the flow of electrons? I have an AC power supply for this purpose. Some of us have the misconception that the current moves in the conductor in the shape of a sine wave. This is not correct. The electrons always moves back and forth. During the positive half cycle of the sine wave, the electrons will move in this direction. And in the negative half cycle, they'll move in the opposite direction. As you can guess, the y-axis represents the instantaneous voltage or the instantaneous current. This instantaneous current or voltage will be maximum at the peaks of the sine wave and will be zero at the points where the sine wave touches the x-axis. And exactly at the same point, the polarity of the voltage or the direction of the current changes. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.